just as the Industrial Revolution of the 19th century created the urban working class, so the automation revolution of the 21st century might create the useless class. And much of the political and social history of the coming decades might revolve around the problems and the hopes and the fears of this new class. With disruptive technology, the danger in a way is far greater because it has some wonderful potential. So there are a lot of forces that for, for some very good reasons are pushing us faster and faster to develop and adopt uh, these disruptive technologies. And it's very difficult to know in advance what the consequences will be. They might very soon reach the point when they create systems, they create algorithms that understand us better than we understand ourselves. And you won't even understand that this is happening, then liberal democracy will become an emotional puppet show. This is the kind of threat that we are already beginning to see emerging today. Now, in the coming years, in the coming decades, we will face individual discrimination, and it might actually be based on a good assessment of who you are. You will not be able to do anything, or almost anything, about this discrimination, first of all, because it's just you. They don't discriminate against you or me because you're Jewish or gay or black or whatever, because you're you. And the worst thing is, there will be, it will be true. <laughs> Now time is accelerating, so the long term is not 2,000 years or 200 years, the long term is 20 years. Nobody knows the basics about how the world would look like in 20 or 30 years such as what the job market would look like, what kind of skills people will need, uh, what family structure would look like, what gender relations would look like. So it's really the first time in history when we have no idea. I think that politics and government in most of the world today, they are doing a far better job than ever before in running the day-to-day -day business of the, of the country. But What they have almost lost completely is the ability to have a long-term plan for the future. So what you see in more and more countries is that they look to the past instead of to the future. They repackage nostalgic fantasies about the past. To really act well, it's not enough to have good values. You need to have a good understanding Very of the point. chains of causes and effects. Like if you think about a commandment like, don't steal. The big problem is that stealing has become so complicated that I'm stealing all the time and I'm not even aware of it. And even if I am aware, I don't know how the corporation makes its money. And during that time, I will be guilty of so many other crimes which I know nothing about. The problem is on understanding the extremely complicated chains of cause and effect in the world. And again, my fear is that maybe Homo sapiens is just not up to it. We have created such a complicated world that we are no longer able to make sense of what is happening.